Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I want to read, actually read the cards that I got the other day. I didn't read them because I didn't know what they had in them and I didn't know whether it was something I could share or not share. But I'm going to read, first I'm going to read Karina's card. Remember Karina? She, uh, from Mommy and Kimberly Adventures. And this was the card. I'm going to read what she had written in it. I'll read it real quick. Okay. It says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. And that was John 3, 17. Remember, God is good all the time. He is good. Then she wrote, To my sweet sister, Nona Grace, May you have a blessed Christmas filled with Jesus, love, and great peace. Love your sis, Karina, and family. And that's what she had written. Then I wanted to read what Elizabeth wrote. And this was Elizabeth's card. Do you have any? Oh, and she had this on, oh, she had this on the envelope. That's good. Okay, and she wrote, Dearest Mary Grace and Jim, Thank you for being among my dearest, cherished, you, cherished YouTube family. I wanted to send you a small token of my affection to you and Jim, even though you are carb-free. She knew I was carb-free, and I did taste the stuff. Oh, it's so good. Okay, enjoy the hot Scott barbecue sauce, local made in Greensboro, both the Essiance family and I did a video on it. I did watch the one on the Essiance family. You are such a wonderful friend. Have fun with the VA Va candy. Virginia. Virginia candy. Maybe. Virginia. I don't know. And the South, Southern treats. Love Elizabeth from V. Dot Honey. V. Dot Honey. And also, she had said that this is country ham. This is country ham. And I was reading on the back that even they tell you how to cook it, what you're supposed to do. And if you want to get um, a red eye gravy, which I had never heard of before, um, you can add a little coffee. Add a little coffee to the ham for a red eye gravy. <laughs> That's interesting. So, anyways, it tells you how to cook these. So, I will do that. I guess for like a uh, ham and biscuits with some gravy? Probably, yeah. I think. Yeah. I think that's what the red eye breakfast um, is. Probably. I don't know. And then Karina had tagged me in a in a, a tag, a five question tag. This is a hard tag, I think. For me it is anyways. If I could live in any sitcom, what would it be? In a sitcom? I probably I like watching the Big Bang Theory just because I like watching it. So that's the only reason I'd want to be in it. I think it's kind of fun. Or I would have liked to have been in Friends. I think Friends would have been fun, but that's not even on anymore. And I think the Big Bang Theory is all that's reruns. Yeah. And if I could change my name, what would it be? I don't think I would change my name. The only thing I would do with my name is I would make it all one. My mother wrote it as two names, and because we didn't get a middle name, made my life a really crazy, difficult thing until I got married. I kept my maiden name so that I could put that as my middle initial. And now my first name is my first name on my driver's license and on my, on my hairdressing license. Before it was always separated. They would take the grace and they'd move it over like it was my middle name. It wasn't my middle name. It was part of my first name, but they never really recognized it. Okay, and are you a dog or a cat person? Well, I'm a dog person, but I do like cats. I like kittens better than cats, but I would prefer dogs. I love puppies, but I do have a dog. I do have a cat too, but my cat's not a nice cat. It's outside, and I, I see it whenever it wants me to see it. Right now, it just comes home to eat. I don't know what he does all the time. He disappears. I think he's got two homes. I'm not sure what he's doing. Um, what's my favorite holiday and why? Well, I like the 4th of July and why? Because it's in the summertime. I don't like cold weather things. 
Um, I remember more about the 4th of July be, being when where when I was growing up. Right now we don't do anything for the 4th of July, really. I don't think we do. No, we don't do anything. But when we were growing up, we'd have big picnics and we would, my mother would always make lasagna because if it rained, you couldn't cook anything outside, but you still had something to eat. And so that I remember um, liking that. For Christmas, I like Christmas too, but Christmas we always had to go, we went to 8.30 Mass and then we came home and had breakfast and then we were allowed to open our presents, but not until we did all that, that stuff first. Um, if a movie was made about my life, who would play or portray me? Who would be me? Well, you know, I'd like to be, I'd like to be different people, but the people that would be more like me probably would be, oh, Doris Day, I would imagine. <laughs> or, um... I don't know. I guess she'd be the one. I I would be. She's kind of. She was always. She always played good, good parts. She never was mischievous. I'd like to be mischievous. I'd like to be, like a Reese Witherspoon or somebody. I'd like to be or the one that played Sister Patrell, um, Sally Fields. I'd like to be a Sally Fields. I think she'd be fun, to be. Okay, now I'm supposed to tag three people. So, and, well, this tag was started by Bargain Huntress, and she tagged Karina of Mommy and Kimberly Adventures. And now I'm supposed to tag three people. So I'm going to tag Barb from Take Control Beauty, Patty from Life with Patty, and Aretha from Seattle Sapphire. Those are the people I'm tagging. So I'll look forward to hearing, and I've, they're all different categories, actually. Barb is into beauty, which it says in her name, and she tells really great stories. And Patty tells about her life, and she does crafts. And <laughs> I just That's heard, me. <laughs> I just heard Michael, he's snoring. <laughs> oh dear, okay. And um, Aretha is doing keto and carnivore and paleo and she's doing she's trying to watch what she eats and she's doing these different things so they're all of different walks of life these people so it shows that I watch I watch different I watch a large variety of people I wanted to do a couple motorcycle people too but then I'd have to go over my um, three I had two motorcycle people in mind I could say your names and if you want to do it you do it and if you don't well I've got the three but I would like to hear what you have to say because you, you're really interesting I have um... <laughs> he's not gonna help me oh, wait a minute it's I have um, Doyle from Blue Bike and Doyle he would be funny yeah. and Jackie, Jackie. from Motorcycle Mama. Oh, yeah. Motorcycle Mama. I, I know their name, but I don't know their name. Thank you. Yeah, Jackie from Motorcycle Mama. I'm sorry, Jackie. I knew she, I, she knew that I, he knew that's who I was thinking of. He didn't, he can read my mind. You know, he's, he, he's like a warlock. I must be a witch. <laughs> okay, that's it, I guess. Um, <laughs> I said earlier before, wait a minute, before I go. <laughs> I said that I would like to be um, in the, I was thinking movies rather than actual people, and I said, well, I'd like to be Tammy and the professor. And I said, Jim could be the professor, but it hit me funny when I said it then. It doesn't hit me funny this time, but it really hit me funny, and I said, well, I just blew that one. Okay, well, that's it, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So have a great night. Bye.